Welcome, Welcome to, to the Airlink Online, Online Academy. Academy. In this monthly series, we will share our experience and training regarding analyze, physical, technical, material and mental. Let's, Let's get started. Start. Today, we will share the Reset Full Story training with Zeno. It's much more efficient to use a Reset Full Stall to use minimum altitude to recover the wing. And the glider control technique is not the same as the Angel 2, so let's see what is different. Okay, let's go! I prefer using a different technique than the one I used to with Enzo 2. And I used to four brake pumps to complete a stall with the Zeno compared to the Enzo 2 in which I used to three pumps. Step 1. As same as with any glider, pull the brakes beyond the stall point. Step 2. When the glider works like a horseshoe behind you, put your hands up until the wing tips fly in front to avoid getting grabbed behind the glider like this. If this happened, it means you released the brakes too late. Step 3. Just before the wing tips go towards the neutral position, put your hands down again beyond the stall position. The important part is the moment when your hands are down. If you do it too late, the glider will just fly normally. You have to remember that there is a short lag between your input and the reaction of the glider. If the wing tips do not warp much behind you, just keep this position until the glider locks back and go straight to step 6. Step 4. At the same moment and reason them in step 2, put your hands up. Step 5. Hands down again until the stall position to keep the stall in and avoid a big shoot. If your hands are too high, the glider will shoot in front of you like this. In case this happens, make a long pump to avoid a large front collapse. If your hands are too low, you will get a lot of grabs like this. And you will also lose a lot of height. So release your brakes a bit more until the main part of the glider opens. Step 6. Right before your body and glider go back to the vertical position, start releasing the brakes to find the sweet spot where glider stays stored calmly. Then, without flying backwards for a long time, release the brakes to let the glider fly. If you fly backwards for a longer period of time, you just lose altitude without any chance of recovering the glider. Step 7. When you decide to release, catch your glider during the shoot. During the shoot, you have to use the energy to open your glider by pumping it. If necessary, because of crabbits, pump it twice. We call it cleaning. What happens if I only keep my hands down to store the glider? The middle of the leading edge will not store this way. Glider behavior is very sensitive to roll movement. As I stored during a small roll, the glider started to turn. Don't do this, only watching the position of your hands. Look at the shape of your wing and the glider will tell you the truth. You must know your body position in 3D in each situation. You must adapt your inputs to the speed and the lag of the reaction of the glider. The stall position can vary a lot. So Charles, what is the difference between uh, Enzo and uh, Zeno? 
there is less rocking back than the Enzo 2. Mm -hmm. More brake amplitude with the Zeno to stall it. In some parts you can find the Zeno more physical, but once you get the proper technique, you can handle it. Enjoy your training and I recommend you to go to safety course. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs>